guys, welcome to my channel. And um, today I want to do a couple of unpacking. And before I get to that, I'll let you know what the story behind this unpacking is for. So I don't know if you follow me on my channel. I have a, um, a PlayStation 5 that I got for Christmas or around Christmas and it went dead. So I have to send it in and it's gonna take at least two to three weeks before I get it back. So now I am going to find a way to play games on my personal computer, my PC. I have a small tower. Um, I'll show you here in a minute. And apparently um, that uh, tower, the desktop tower doesn't have enough um, power to power up the video card and um, so I went to a local um, electronic store and bought a couple of things and that's where I want to uh, do a couple of unpacking and show you guys so the first thing I bought is this um, power spec 650 watt power supply so this will go into my um, desktop tower and I'll unpack it and show you the installation the other thing that I bought with it too, so that it would load a little bit faster, is this uh, solid state drive, the SSD drive. It's, high, it's 512 gig. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I'm gonna install this onto my um, desktop tower, but I'm also gonna unbox it and show you guys. So let's get to it. Oh, and one thing then, the whole reason I'm doing this um, upgrade to my desktop tower is so that I could download Steam and eventually play some computer games and upload it to Twitch and upload to my um, Oscar Gaming YouTube channel. So stay tuned and I'll show you how that goes. Okay guys, today we are going to open the SSD drive. Now you can see it here. So let's take a look. The reason we're getting this, I'm getting this from my hard drive is that when I load up my uh, load up window, it will be a lot faster. And then I just use my existing hard drive to just store the data. All right, here it is. 520, 512 gig hard drive. So there's the connector. Wow, very light. It's got screws to secure it inside the drive and I'll show you how that's done. Yeah, I have a cable for that already. This is the um, external drive that I'll put inside the the desktop uh, PC okay so I already have a cable that this will go into so I don't know if you can see it there's a low power cable right there and simply just plug this cable in and this will be attached into the desktop PC uh, I think it goes on a motherboard so we'll take a look at that here in a minute. All right, the next thing we're gonna be opening up is this power spec 650 watt hard drive. I'm sorry, power supply. So this will help um, power my um, video card. And I will show you the video card that I got. Um, so I'll go ahead and unpack this one for you. So this power looks bigger than um, my desktop PC, but just looking at it, maybe just looks big, but hopefully it will fit my um, desktop PC. So this is just the manual, user manual. I don't need that. 
Um, wow, it comes with all, all kinds of extra cables. So this is the power source cable. Let's just take a look. I'm not there. It might be an adapter too. Oh, okay, cool. So this is the power supply and it also allow you to plug into a smaller uh, power supply. And I'll go on your motherboard right there. The power itself, the power cord itself. This is a similar cable, might be, let's see what it's got here. Oh, it's daisy changed together. So this is going to the power supply and you can plug it into other uh, devices as well. Okay, we'll put that aside. Wow, some more adapters. I'm not gonna open it. Um, and one last one. Okay, a few more adapters. This piece, oh, there's some screws that goes with it. And this is the power supply itself. So it was packaged on this styrofoam thing. And let's take a look here. Wow, looks pretty big. 650 watt. Nice big cable. Yeah, so. Oh, look at all these adapter on the back. Yep, you have the um, adapt, the power source that goes to your floppy disk, your SATA, and your hard drive. Some solid state drive there. PCIe, so yeah. Oh, and there's an on and off switch on the back. On, off, and this is the power cable that came with it. So yep, and that's what it looks like. Okay, now, next thing what we'll do is bring up the, uh, the laptop, not the laptop, sorry, the PC, desktop and we'll put it all together put up here the PC desktop and let's open this bad boy up flip it this way so basically this this is a um, a small compact um, PC desktop it's got a really small case. So I have to go get some screwdriver and I'll get this baby open up. All right. All right, so here's a screwdriver. And let's get this open up. So this basically unscrew the lid comes in the back. I think I might have to unscrew a lot more since I'm replacing the power supply. So I'll just go ahead and unscrew a bunch of this. And hopefully the power supply will fit in here. We will see. lid Let's go the other lid okay I'll just go ahead and undo the power supply right here hopefully there's a bracket somewhere this doesn't fall when I do the last one It did. <laughs> okay, let's just sit on the side. Let's see. Mm. 
Oh boy. This might be an issue. Without unplugging everything, I can see that the power supply might be too big. Let's see. Oh no, they fit perfectly. Okay, okay. That's a good sign. All right, let me go ahead and unplug all the power that goes in here. So first thing first, undo this one. Yep, that's a four pin. Let's see, we also have it going to this is the hard drive, internal hard drive, so we'll unplug that. There we go. I'm gonna actually look at the existing cable and see which one I need. So if this is the one, this might work. This is the new cable. Let's see, that is not it because this one is a, a four pin. So that's not the right cable. Okay, so basically this power right here will be coming from the, uh, the fan unit itself. So there's the four pin. <laughs> Just took me a little bit to figure that out. But I'll set that there for now. Okay, so I'll continue to unplug the rest of this. its glory and guts came out <laughs> all right we'll put that aside all right next we're gonna add this guy yep but first let's untie the twisty the twisty tides I mean, this this power supply, comparing the fan itself, look how big that fan is compared to this fan that was on here. Look at that. Pathetic, if you ask me. Yeah, so this is gonna cool off the whole entire motherboard and including the, um, the video card that I'm gonna install. So let's go ahead and plug this in. Basically, the back of this unit, the back of this power supply, there's an extra cable you can plug into. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I don't think it matter which one, but I'll just plug it into this for the hard drive. And this will actually go to the hard drive. Yep. I wonder why there's two sets of this. Maybe you plug in some more and add 
extras to if you have multiple hard drive. The cable that goes to your hard drive. So hard drive, CD on drive, and this will actually go to my SSD card, which is the 512 gig uh, drive. So let's go ahead and plug that in. There, snaps right in. So this power, I'm sorry, this data will go into one of these port back here. So I'll go ahead and plug that in. There we go. Actually, I'm just gonna take it and clean it up a little bit. Boy, that's pretty dirty. Look at that. It's got a lot of um, dust and stuff in there. Unfortunately, I don't have any air blower right now to clean that out with. Hmm. All right, looks like I was just gonna go ahead and hand clean it real quick. Just picking up the dust off of this guy. So let me go ahead and unplug that. Look at that. Whew. Okay. I believe this is your chip, your processor. So we gotta keep that clean and cool. That's why the fan is on top of it to dis dissipate the heat from this um, processor. Okay, and this itself, I'll go ahead and wipe it off. It's pretty dusty. Get that clean out. I guess if I really wanted to, I could take all this apart and clean the inside part. Hmm. Okay. I'll pause the video and I'm gonna clean that up real quick. Okay, so after a little bit of cleaning, I got it to uh, mostly all the dust off of there on this guy. So now I'm just gonna plug it back in. So here we go. Tuck that away. All right. I think we're in a pretty good spot. Um, hard drive, power. Oh, one other thing that I want to install here is the, um, the video card. So a buddy of mine gave me this video card. Um, wind force so that's one of the reason i got the power supply because this baby require some power and i don't know much about this card it is let me see if i can find the model n960 
So it's a 960 and N. I'm not sure what the N stands for, but this is the name. I don't know if you can see that. Windforce. Gigabyte. So let's install this and plug it in. So I'm gonna have to turn this the other way. There we go. All right, so, oops, you know what I forgot to do? Let's go ahead and tighten this power supply. Let's continue. Um, I wanna take one of these off for a for the uh, video card slot to go into. So let's go ahead and undo this. Go. in there okay nice unfortunately there's not a screw I can use to tighten it back here but the original screw was on this guy so I'll just go ahead and slap that in so this is the power that gonna go and we're gonna use it on on this one so we'll plug that in this way Hold on. and this red one will go in just like this okay we're gonna put everything back and let's test this out Well guys, um, so let's go ahead and put the power onto the PC and let's go ahead and plug it into the computer and see what happens. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Okay guys, for now, I have this little adapter that I'm gonna use. It's a VGA to a digital VGA. So I'm just gonna snap it in like that. And I'm gonna plug it into the back of the computer to the new video card. I think it uses this um, digital VGA connector. Here we go. Let's do this first. Let's unplug this blue one. And then we'll plug this in correctly. Okay. And we'll plug this in next. All right. There we go. All right guys, so it looks like it's powering up. I just have to do some setup with the BIOS and maybe I'm I'm thinking about putting Windows on my SSD drive so it would boot up faster. So I'm gonna get that all squared away and I'll show you what it looks like once I get it running. Be right back. All right guys, and we are back. I got the um, computer all connected and it's loading to Windows. So I'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here we are loading to Windows. 
So basically I just have to log in and I should be back in business. Device adapter, and that's the video card. So if I can zoom in there. NVIDIA GeForce GTX 960, that's installed. And I also have mine external, not external, the S, SSD card, uh, SATA card, is that what they call them? SATA, right there, SSD. And that's the original hard drive. So yeah, everything's put together. Um, not much I could show you about the power supply. So the power supply obviously work because the system's running. So guys, that is it for today. But um, one last thing I want to uh, go over just so you know. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about the liability, the quality, the price and the functionality. So obviously let's start with uh, the, the SATA. The, the SSD card, which is a 256, uh, 512 gig hard drive. So liability, you know, it, I haven't run into any problem. So I wasn't able to, of course, tell you the liability, which is something that uh, the product is gonna take time, a long time to to, to do, to, to actually tell you that I have no problem with it. But um, liability looks to be, of course, um, if you own a product for a longer time. The quality, uh, it's, very, it's very well made because it's really light and very, you know, easy to put together. Um, I'm happy with how the cable was able to connect into existing power supply and the data cable. So that seems pretty well made. Uh, the price was that for, for that little guy was about $50. Now, um, I'll put the link below so you can see how to get one if you're looking into the get, to get one. But the, um, yeah, the, the price is labeled on the box for $119. So I'm not sure um, if the price was on sale at that time, but price-wise, I think it was a pretty well, uh, pretty good deal. Um, Let's go into the functionality. Uh, it's very simple to put together. Um, of course, functionality is kind of like a user experience, but you know, it's simple and it's function because you just plug it in and yeah, it just plug and play almost. You just put it inside the, uh, the computer and it's very intuitive. There's screws on the side if you can screw it in. In my case, I don't have any screws, so I just kind of stuff it in there. But eventually, if you're gonna move it around a lot, you might want to screw it down. And yeah, that is it for that SSD card. For the power supplies, um, I'm gonna talk about the liability of that. It's, again, uh, you know, I, I didn't run into, into any problem with it. For example, I didn't have any um, DOA or date, date on arrival, the power plug-in, and came right on. Uh, it's, I guess it's re reliable at, at that point. Um, the quality, I feel like the quality was very well made. The the way they wrapped the the power cord together, and it's very it feels very sturdy, very strong. It's pretty well done. So I'm <clears throat> pretty well made system. Especially, you know, impressed with how all the cable wasn't tangling everywhere. It's all tied up. Uh, the price for that guy was about sixty nine dollars. Um, so I'll go ahead and put a link on the bottom as well. Uh, you could I could take. Take a look at that if you're interested in it. But uh, yeah, I mean, it comes with all the cable you can think of. Um, it's got good value for, you know, what I need it for. I need a, a bigger power supply for that box. Um, yeah, it's it's a good deal in, in my mind. Uh, the functionality, of course, it's, functionality is, is like, again, like a user experience. Uh, I didn't even have to use the the manual to plug everything in because it's very simple. You know, the plug that you took out from your old um, power supply, you basically replace it with the, the new power supply you got. 
the the cable uh, I don't know how many pins that was maybe six pin or four pins at the beginning and then the rest of it just match up with your last um, power supply so very simple very intuitive and easy to use so anyway guys um I'll put all those links for those two unit or those two items that I did un unbox for today in the description below. Um, in any case, uh, if you're interested in them, so just check them out. Uh, I'll link I'll link to it in the video. Yeah, um, if you're never seen any of my video before, just go ahead and um, check out my other videos. Uh, I do reviews. I do gaming. And um, yeah, if you like what you see, if you like what you see here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up and that really helps me out. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. All right, see ya, peace.